resulting from the abandonment of all the fetters. These two deliverances together constitute the perfection of the deliverance aggregate. Vimitajananadarsanaskandha. Furthermore, one recollects the perfection of the aggregate of the Buddha called knowledge and seeing deliverance. This aggregate is of two types. I. In regard to emancipation from his disturbing emotions, the Buddha puts the knowledge of destruction of the impurities to work. From his own experience he knows. In me, suffering is completely known, its origin has been abandoned, its destruction has been realized and the path to its destruction has been practiced. This is the Vimitajananadarsanaskandha consisting of the knowledge of the destruction of the impurities. Next, he knows this. The suffering completely known by me is no longer to be known. Its origin abandoned by me is no longer to be realized. The path to its destruction practiced by me is no longer to be practiced. This is the Vimitajananadarsana consisting of the knowledge that the impurities, once destroyed, will not arise again. 2. The Buddha knows that this particular person will find deliverance by entering the concentration of emptiness. Another person by entering into the concentration of signlessness, yet another into the concentration of wishlessness. He knows that one individual will be led to deliverance without resorting to any skillful means. Another will find deliverance after a long time, a third after a short time, a fourth in this very moment. One individual will find deliverance if he is addressed in subtle words, another in coarse words, yet another in varied conversation. One individual will find deliverance if he sees miracles, another if the Dharma is preached. The person in whom lust predominates finds deliverance if his desire is increased. The one in whom hatred predominates finds deliverance if his hate is increased, as was the case for the Nagas Nantu and Julia Pinluo. It is for various reasons of this kind that people find deliverance, as it is explained in regard to the Dharma I. Knowing and clearly seeing these various deliverances is called Vimitajananadarsanaskandhasampad. Furthermore, one recollects the Buddha who knows all, who sees all, his great loving kindness, his great compassion, his ten powers, his four fearlessnesses, his four unhindered knowledges, his eighteen special attributes etc. Recollecting the immense and inconceivable qualities is what is called recollection of the Buddha. This recollection takes place in seven stages. Sometimes it is impure, sometimes it is pure. If it is impure, it entails retribution. If it is pure, it does not entail retribution. It is associated with three indriyas, namely, the indriyas of happiness satisfaction and indifference it is acquired by effort or by retribution that of the present universe is acquired by effort e g when one practices the concentration of recollection of the buddha that of the but the field of the buddha waulingshio is acquired by retribution the people who are born there spontaneously recollect the buddha all this is fully explained in the abhidharma two Recollection of the Dharma Recollection of the Dharma The Buddha said The yogin should recollect the Dharma, skillfully presented, obtaining its retribution in the present lifetime without fear of burning. Independent of time, leading to the good place, the penetration into which is unhindered. 1. Dharma skillfully presented It is skillfully presented because it is not contradictory to the two truths, I e. the conventional truth and the absolute truth. The wise man cannot refute it and the fool cannot criticize it. This dharma is also free of the pairs of extremes, i. e. a life attached to the five objects of enjoyment and pleasure or a life of personal mortification. It is free of other pairs of extremes. Eternalism and nihilism, self and non-self, existence and non-existence. Because it is not attached to these pairs of extremes, the Dharma is said to be skillfully presented. Heretics who boast of their own system and denigrate the systems of others cannot express themselves skillfully. 2. Dharma, 
obtaining its retribution in the present lifetime. The Dharma obtains its retribution in the present existence. As it eliminates the various problems of the world caused by lust as well as the various teachings and arguments caused by wrong views, body and mind find happiness in it. Thus the Buddha said. Observing morality is happiness. Body and mind do not burn. One sleeps well and, on awakening, one is happy. One's fame extends afar. Moreover, in this Dharma of the Buddha, the linking of causes and conditions produces the following fruit. Because of the purity of his morality, the yogin has no regrets. His mind being without regrets, he produces the joy inherent in the Dharma. By means of the joy of the Dharma, his body and mind have pleasure and happiness. His body and mind having pleasure and happiness, he can concentrate his mind. Concentrating his mind, he understands in accordance with the truth. Understanding in accordance with the truth, he finds disgust. Finding disgust, he becomes detached from desire. Detached from desire, he obtains deliverance, he obtains the fruit of retribution of deliverance, he obtains nirvana. As for the heretics, their dharma is void, painful and without result. Story of Jambuka Thus the Arhat Yenfu said the following when he acquired Bodhi. Formerly I was a heretic for 55 years. I ate only dried cow dung and I slept on thorns. Having endured such cruel tortures. I gained nothing from them, not like today when, having seen the Buddha and having heard the Dharma, I have left home and, in three days, having done what had to be done, I have become Arhat. This is why we know that the Dharma of the Buddha obtains its fruit in the present lifetime. Question. If the Dharma of the Buddha obtains its fruit in the present lifetime, how is it that, among the disciples of the Buddha, some derive nothing from it? Answer. The yogin who knows the words of the Buddha and applies them constantly cannot fail to receive his reward. In the same way, the sick person who follows the orders of a good physician and takes all the medicine cannot fail to be cured. On the other hand, if the yogin does not conform to the Buddha's instructions and does not apply them constantly, his immorality and his distractions will cause him to obtain nothing. But it is false that the Dharma is not good.